Welcome to Kids Church. Good morning. So today I was thinking about parables. Um, so last week I told you about. I realized it was kind of close and low, so scooting back. Um, last week I talked to you guys about how Jesus told the parable of the ninety-nine sheep, and how there was one sheep who went missing, uh, and then he came back and he. Uh, left all the 99 sheep to find the one sheep that was missing. And it reminded me of another parable, which is pretty cool. Uh, now, I'm not doing Grandpappy Louie because uh, my throat's a little bit dry and the, uh, the Grandpappy Louie voice is, it makes me kind of sore and I don't want to have a sore throat. So, um, we're holding off on that for today. But today's story is going to be um, a little bit about me, something you probably didn't know. Um, so this parable is about how uh, we are like sheep and Jesus is our good shepherd and everybody who loves him and follows him recognizes his voice and follows him. See way back when, a um, long time ago in like Jesus time, when people had sheep they would call their sheep and the sheep would recognize their shepherd's voice and they would listen to it but they wouldn't follow anybody else's voice. Because um, what they would do is they would take their sheep and they would put them in these big pens so that they could go to sleep. And then in the morning, uh, they would come by and they would call their sheep. And only their sheep would come to the voice when they would call their sheep. Um, you know, they wouldn't get their neighbor's sheep. They would just get their sheep because all their sheep would recognize the voice. And so Jesus is like that with us. When we hear Jesus' voice, we're supposed to go to him and him alone. Uh, because we're listening for it and we know what to listen for and that just kind of reminded me of a little bit of a silly story from when i was little see when i was i don't know like three or four all the way up until i don't know maybe like when i was eight my mom would call me all kinds of crazy nicknames i mean all kinds of crazy nicknames she would call me, especially ears. Uh, she liked things with ears. So like uh, hamster ears was a nickname that she had for me. Hippopotamus ears, goat ears. Um, and just all kinds, of, those are just a few examples. Um, but there'd be all, all these nicknames. And I never, never knew what mom was going to call me, ever. And she said that it was because oftentimes when I was at the playground or out in public, if she would call me by my name, I wouldn't listen. And so in order to keep me from toning out my mom and not hearing what she was saying and not hearing her voice when she called me, she would use all these different nicknames. And sometimes it can be like that for Jesus with us too. Sometimes we don't want to listen to him. Sometimes we want to do the stuff that we want to do even if it's bad. And so we need to condition our hearts to hear Jesus when he calls our name. So that we can be his good sheep and not bad sheep. <laughs> not bad sheep. Huh? Huh? Yeah. All right. Well, let's close in prayer. Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you for bringing us into your flock of sheep. Help us to be good sheep and not bad sheep. And help us to love you and love others. In your name I pray. Amen. Have a blessed day and enjoy some worship music. Yeah.